all the dignitaries on the dais and off the dais, my friends from the media, welcome you all to this conference and to this edition of uh, India Joy 2019. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of joy. Uh, I'm sure Rajiv has uh, made sure that all of you will have a great event over the next few days. Take this opportunity to acknowledge and uh, thank Fagha for their vital support and their consistent guidance in making the first and second edition of India Joy Grand Success. As for research, published, in, published by a doubling based news agency, PR Wire, the animation industry is projected to reach about $270 billion US by 2020, a year from now. Animation services market in 2019 continues to be dominated by outsourced projects from television and film sectors, which accounts for nearly 85% of total animation services turnover in India. With exponential growth in consumerization, in highly personalization of content, I think this industry is going to see big leaps in terms of uh, technology and advancements in animation services as well. The animation IP production segment is steadily growing due to increasing demand, as was mentioned by previous speakers, for localized animation content and characters developed for the Indian market across TV and OTT. OTT broadcasters are partnering with animation studios for original content, localized in Indian languages such as Telugu, Tamil, Marathi, Punjabi, etc. Classic example is Chota Bing. In fact, uh, Rajiv and the entire uh, team of Greenwood, you guys should be pretty proud of, really proud of what you've created at our own studio. And as I think was pointed out, OTT has become an extremely important segment. The size of streaming OTP in just the animation content space is now almost 2.9 billion and is growing at the rate of 8 percent per annum. So therefore, the market potential is huge and so is the case of VFX industry. Again, this is emerging. In fact, I remember a conversation with one of the studio owners in Hyderabad. So there was a time in around the chief minister said, you know, Hyderabad can not just be a half the Telugu film industry, but also possibly the entire South Asian film industry which really encompasses a lot of languages, a lot of diversity, etc. So one of the prominent studio owners in Hyderabad were having a conversation, so I said, how much of space would you need to create a world-class studio? He said about five acres. I, I completely was lost. I said, how is that possible? I thought you film studios were all about scale, you know, you'd need thousands of acres of land, etc., etc. He said, no. After VFX is coming, after animation is coming, they have become an indispensable part of movie making and content creation. So therefore, what I would really need is some world-class technicians and possibly about five acres of wonderful studios which I can, from which I can create another Bahubali or another Iga or another Dira or one of these large you know, uh, uh, animation and VFX-based movies that have come out of our own Telugu film industry. So therefore, VFX, as we all know, has emerged and has become an indispensable part of filmmaking cutting edge work that is happening in our, our TV industry as well. And the post-production segment, which I'm sure many of these gentlemen who are sitting on the dais and ladies sitting on the dais will know more about, also have been witnessing great, tremendous growth. In fact, 13% is what I'm told, is that which the post-production sector is also growing. International projects also continue to grow and give large share of uh, in revenues for VFX industries, which is almost 70% of uh, you know, all the work that happens here. Likewise, even gaming industry, I know IDDC is a part of this event. So even gaming industry for that matter has been growing exponentially. More than 2.3 billion active gamers in the world. And let me remind you, there's only 7 billion people in the world, so 2.3 billion is a huge number. More than 2.3 billion active gamers in the world right now. And this again, this market, gaming industry, is also picked at about 140 billion with digital revenues accounting for 91% of the market, which is nearly $125 billion. Mobile gaming, as was also mentioned, with improved connectivity, with improved speeds, with improved uh, services by our telcos and internet service providers. This is another sector which is only set to grow exponentially. Smartphones, tablets, 